Now, the NBC5 Sports Desk, sponsored by your New England Ford dealers. Sir, finally, a full slate of NFL games came our way, and my God, it did not disappoint. Welcome to the NBC5 Sports Desk. I'm Jack Main. We have to start with some football first, though, where the UVM women's soccer team hasn't had a great start to their season, and they look to get back on track against Stonehill College this afternoon. We've got some short highlights for you right here on a Saturday matinee game honoring the survivors from 9-11. Bailey Ayer getting her first goal of the season for the Catamounts. And at just two minutes and 10 seconds into the game, UVM's up 1-0. Couple of minutes later, how about Kate Bozert using the noggin? That was a beautiful touch with the forehead. Nothing the goalie can do about that one. 2 nothing. UVM, we're going to take you now all the way down to the 87th minute. And it's Nikki Constant on the penalty kick to put a cap on this one. UVM takes it from Stonehill for nothing. All right, now what everyone has been waiting for, American football. And we start our highlight slate in Miami, where the Pats had a divisional opponent in week one in the Miami Dolphins. Let's pick it up right here in the first quarter. Beautiful shot of Hard Rock Stadium. Mac Jones getting ready for year two of his NFL career. It would not start out great, though. Javon Holland with the interception in the end zone. Maybe a little P.I. there that the ref overlooked, but nonetheless, it's an interception for the Dolphins. They would settle for three on that drive. In the second quarter, though, Melvin Ingram strip sack touchdown. And before the Pats fans can even blink, it's 10-0. Miami Belichick with some questionable benchings in this game that would just come back to haunt New England. Look at this, 20 seconds left in that first half, and Jalen Waddell takes a pass on fourth and seven into the end zone, and Miami's just putting it on. Mac Jones in the pass finally get one back. Ty Montgomery with a rather ugly-looking touchdown there. He rolls in the former Chicago Bear getting his first touchdown with the Patriots, and at least they don't get shut out. Fourth quarter, Pats still a couple scores from getting back in this thing, and that's not going to help. Nelson Aguilar, guy couldn't catch a cough when he was in Philadelphia, and he coughs that one up right there. Dolphins hold on for a 20-7 win. Pats lose second straight opening day. All right, over to New York, where the Baltimore Ravens went to go take on Joe Flacco, the former Raven himself, and he would not have a great start against his former mates, Marcus Williams. Interception right down the middle of the field. He would take that one across the 15, and Baltimore is in business. Devin Duvenary taking the beautiful pass from Lamar Jackson. Tutty for six points in the third quarter now. Lamar Jackson, where's he going? Right back to Duvernay for his second touchdown of the game. And the Baltimore Ravens were not done right there. Lamar signaling. He's going to look around on play action. Where's he going? He's going all the way. Rashad Bateman over the shoulder touchdown pass. What a day for Lamar Jackson, making himself look smart by not taking that extension. Baltimore wins it 24 to 9. All right, the game of the day, maybe the game of the year. Is it too early to say that? This was an absolute thriller between the reigning AFC champion Bengals and the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're going to take you all the way down into the fourth quarter. Look at this. We think we have a game-tying touchdown from Jamar Chase. He thinks he's in, but take a look. The one-handed grab, it's insane, and then one foot. And then, oh, he gets bit by the size 17 shoe. So no touchdown pass. Very next play, Joe Scheiste working away from the sack. You see the flag flies, but that's not what happens on this play. T.J. Watt tears his pec, and you can see him right there saying, I tore my pec, man. I can't go anymore. That's a huge loss for Pittsburgh. But Bengals on second and goal, they tie the game, and you see no time left on the clock. They are an extra point away from getting the victory, and they block the extra point, which means we've got overtime in Cincinnati, and it would be a game-winning field goal from Chris Boswell, and Pittsburgh squeaks by. 23 to 20. Whoa. What a game. Game of the year. What my heart's game. going. That was a, that was a I was going to say, my heart's going. <laughs> Listening to you talk well, about I that catch game. I got to my breath. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you do that. Let's talk about the weather. All right. We